I like relating to people, so I related to teachers easily. I think that's the, the best advice you can give anyone at school, just relate to the teacher and, and get, get from him or her what, what you can. So it's not that you have to be their best friend, but they are there, they make time for you, so you appreciate them and then you get something, like the relationship is for me very important. Uh, so yeah, I think that the stress is more the, the like we all have sort of soft trauma, but I think what I said before with, with the parents that I was always part of the conversation about their emotions, that was, I think that hurt me and, uh, and letting that go and, and just have other people like, you don't, you don't like me, fine. It's, it says something about me, it says something about you. We can work on it or not. But I used to be like, whoa, well, you don't like me? What do I do? And uh, even though I, I, I didn't like the other person either. Like there, that, that is the thing that caused the most stress. And, uh, and through the years, and that's a lot of psychology, uh, and also, that's how the body works. That's, and with trauma, that's extreme, like it's your first response to just freeze, and your second response to, to fight and, and, and or flee. And, but the body works like it's, that is five times faster than your, your rational brain. So what I learned is like these emotions, instead of the then, then freezing or fighting, take it in, get back to your core, feel it, and then relay it again. And, and I think that took more time than I hoped mm. to get there. Yeah, the dynamic between uh, students and teachers is a very interesting one, because I also am currently studying in university. And even from previous experience, I've kind of noticed that students view teachers as kind of inanimate objects. You know, they just give the class, when it's over, they just leave. So there is, hasn't been that much connection between teachers and students. Of course, when you grow older, I guess, you do see them more as, as people, so you want to connect with them, and that's what I always try to do as well with my teachers, try to connect. And, you know, it, it has helped out a lot, I think, and it also makes the teachers feel more important, because sometimes, you know, they can be a great teacher, but if people don't give the recognition, they also kind of might not feel that good. Mm -hmm. You know, they're also humans. They're not just there to teach you, but they also want to, you know, gain some respect and of course some insight from the students. Yeah, or something else, maybe inspiration or joy, or it can be anything. Like, I don't have to be here. I like to be here. And that's at the moment that I feel that I have to be here, I won't be here anymore. So it's, uh, I think for, I've, I've seen teachers at my other university, they really didn't want to be there anymore. They were doing their job, teaching the same thing. They were sort of, it was their job. And that didn't work. There were clashes, the, the students walked out. So that's not, you need to be present fully or not at all. I think that's the two options for a teacher. Um, about student uh, teacher relations, it was incredible. I, I, I was teaching in Holland, and for three years, I, I never experienced that in my life before. Like, you are not being questioned. That was crazy. Like, and there's not another social setting anywhere where you can just say stuff and people go like, yes, all the time, like everyone. And maybe they, they think no, or they say maybe this, but, as a teacher, you have this, uh, this status as the truth holder, which is very nice, but it's also a great responsibility. So, and I really liked playing with this. And, and in the beginning, you felt like, okay, this is crazy, or it's, it's very nice, or it's confusing. But after a while, you can then sort of play with it. And with that dynamic, you also teach students that they relate to other people in their life. So there's not an organization and a government and a parent, but it's humans and you need to, to relate to them from you and not take yourself out of the picture and say, oh, government has nothing to do with me. 
No, it's, it's people. Like if people say that the government suck, I know so many people that work there who are passionate, and, but you need to be able to look at these structures as groups of individuals. And I think as a teacher, you can be a first experience in that, to, that it's okay to respect someone, follow him, believe him, and still be critical and still have your own uh, truth. Um, that 